I'm Anil Kumar and here is a question which will help many of my subscribers to understand how to add and subtract fractions where we have unequal denominators. So I've taken this as an example 2 over 15 plus 5 over 12 minus 3 over 8. By any standard this is a complicated question for our middle school students. Now to add or subtract fraction, what do we need? We need least common multiple or sometimes we say common denominator. So we are looking for LCM, least common multiple. Sometimes we say least common denominator, right? So both are the same things. So once we have common denominator, so the idea is to have common denominator, right? So once you have common denominator, then we can add and subtract fractions. Now, how to find common denominator? That's the next question. There are two different methods. One is we can write down their multiples and then figure out which one is the least common, right? So, so let me begin by showing you the first method, which is writing down multiples. So multiples of 15, multiples of 12, multiples of 8. My suggestion is always to start with the the greatest number, right? So that kind of helps us, right? So we can use calculator if the numbers are big. So we have 15, then times 2 will be 30, and then we all keep on adding 15 to it, so we have 45, and then we have 60, right? And then we have 75, Likewise, correct? So we can just go on uh, with this list of multiples. You can definitely go. And then with 12, we have 12, we have 24, 36, uh, 48, and so on. And with 8, we have 8, 16, I mean 24, 32, and so on, right? So we will actually uh, end up definitely with a common multiple so you can continue this list and whichever you find common will be your least common multiple and that can be treated as the least common denominator so you can see very easily that sometimes the list could be very long right so it takes time right now here is a simple method of doing it and we call it ladder division right so so this is what we learned when we were in school so I'll t I have few videos where I've explained this let me show you this method here. Write all these numbers 15, 12 and 8 and try to factor them. So we could actually divide them by uh, let's say 4, right? So 4. But 15 cannot be divided by 4. So we just write 15 as such. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 8 divided by 4 is 2. You could have divided by 2 then again by 2 also. Now here, you could divide 15 and 3 by 3. So that means they have a common factor, right? So finding lowest common multiple is also getting rid of common factors. So 15 divided by 3 is 5, 3 divided by 3 is 1, and we get 2 here. Now from here, we can easily write down what is the LCM. So LCM in our case is 4 times, 3 times, 5 times 2 times 1, right? So now you can multiply these numbers to get LCM. 2 times 5 is 10, 4 times 3 is 12, 12 and 10 makes it 120. So if you continue this list, there will be 120 in, in all of them and that will be your least common multiple, right? So that is, you could find least common multiple. You could also use the strategy of prime factorization to find least common multiple. Check some of my videos on that also, correct? Anyway, one part is over. We know the common denominator is 120, right? So this is what we found. Now we'll continue with this solution. So what we need to do is we need to add 2 over 15 to 5 over 12 and subtract 3 over 8. So whenever addition and subtraction is done, you should actually do from left to right. 
Now we know least common denominator is 120. How do you make this 120? You can see from here, 5 times 3 is 15, so you have to multiply by 8, right? So we have to multiply the first term by 8, so multiply and divide by 8. The next term is 12, to make it 120, you need to multiply and divide by 10. The last term here is 3 over 8, so 4 times 2 is 8, you have to multiply by 15, right? So you multiply this by 15, to make common denominator as 120. I hope this step is clear. Multiplying and dividing by the same number is as good as multiplying by 1, so it does not change the number. So 8 times 2 is 16, so we get 16 divided by we know that is 120, so I don't think about it now. We have already done our calculations. 5 times 10 is 50, and then we have 120 in the denominator, minus 15, 3 times is 45, so we'll use that 45 value, and that is 120, right? It should be. So that is the common denominator. At times, we also prefer to write like this. Common denominator means it's common to all, so we could write like this, and then we do our simple addition and then subtraction, correct? Now that gives you the answer. At times you could do 50 minus 45 is 5, so adding 5 to 16 is 21, so we get 21 over 120. Now it's a good idea to simplify this. 21, 2 plus 1 is 3, so it can be divided by 3. So dividing by 3, we get 7, and dividing this by 3, we get 12 goes 4 times 40. So 7 over 40 is the answer. So the answer for this is 7 over 40. It is extremely good example where I've kind of gone slowly so that you understand each steps. Go through this video once again, understand the concepts, and then do some similar questions. I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos. Also, ask questions if you need help with. All are free on my YouTube channel. Thank you and all the best.